What's up, comicbook.com, BD here with John Watts, director of Spider-Man Homecoming. John, uh, the Hall H reception was just pretty epic. Everybody went wild when we saw The Vulture. Mm -hmm. What was it that made you pick The Vulture for this film? Well, we wanted to sort of go back to the origins of what made Spider-Man and Peter Parker so unique, you know, and that's how we just really sort of doubled down on the idea that he's a kid, he's a high school student, in this crazy universe, uh, he has to keep his identity a secret, which a lot of the other characters in the MCU don't. Yeah. Um, and then just in going back to those origins, you know, the Vulture is really the first supervillain that Spider-Man ever fights in Amazing Spider-Man second issue, after the Chameleon. Um, we, who doesn't, he's not really a supervillain in, the, in Amazing Spider-Man, the first one. Um, so it, was just, it just felt like the right thing to do to go back to the roots yeah. in that way. Very cool. Were there any other villains that were almost made the cut or were left on the cutting room floor? I mean, we talked about a lot of different things, but the Vulture always sort of rose to the top. Yeah. And just the opportunity to have Spider-Man versus a guy that can fly really lends itself to some pretty cool visuals. Very, very cool. Now, how does a movie like Spider-Man Homecoming fit into this grand Marvel Cinematic Universe that's so established? Where, where does it find its place and how much, uh, how does it fit in there? I think of it as the ground floor. Like, if the Avengers Tower is like the penthouse, yeah. and we know what it's like to be a millionaire, billionaire playboy or whatever, uh, be, to be Tony, or like what it's like to be a god on another planet, like, that's the penthouse level of the MCU. Spider-Man is the ground floor. Like, what does it look like? What does a high school in the MCU look like? What does riding the subway in the MCU feel like? Like, it's a little I thought Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man seems like the perfect opportunity because he's the most relatable, regular person in the canon. That uh, I thought he was a great chance to just show what that angle of the MCU looks like. Very cool. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah. Uh, I'm also excited to see this cast. You are working with some very, very yeah. talented know, cast so members. Uh, what's it been like uh, with, has Robert been on set yet or uh, obviously yet. Michael has? Shot his stuff yet. Nothing yet? Nothing yet. Uh, what no. are, you, are, you, are you excited to see how the cast does the, works together? Yeah, it's great. It's really, um, it's really amazing to see it all come together, uh, especially with the kids, you know? It's like, they hang out all the time. Like in between when we're shooting, they're all just hanging out, and it's creating this really fun vibe for I think everyone involved. Yeah. Hopefully that comes across in the movie. Very cool. Now I know a lot of our readers really, really like to hear about costumes and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, what kind of upgrades, if any, can we expect to see to this Spider-Man suit? And do they come from a certain Avenger? Well, the suit that Spidey was given uh, in Civil War is a Stark suit. So you have to wonder with a Stark suit what else can it do Very so cool. hopefully what about that post credit scene in Civil War does that is that a scene that's in the movie or is that just something that was extra for Civil War uh, it's just a little setup for cool. Civil War cool. well, really really appreciate you taking the time oh, yeah, in no, cannot wait to see the movie yeah, I'm really excited. thank you